Hello, this is Eternally Prussians Warframe. Today I am showing off um, a actual game. This is Mercury, the first planet you unlock, and this is the first mission, Terminus. It is a sabotage mission. Um, this is going to be another part of my Learn How to Play Warframe series and learn all the basics so that way you can walk in there better armed than the Lotus had you going in. So this is going to be my first playthrough with my only one ability, even with my Catalyst. I want to save my points to use other ones, so this is Shuriken. It just launches a Shuriken in the general direction of where you point it. And I still have the exact same weapons as before. A sabotage mission basically means you walk in and you either A, destroy, mi destroy mining equipment, or B, you destroy a reactor core. In this situation, it's destroying a reactor core. Now, I've been seen, and what does that mean? Well, it means if you've been seen, there's going to be problems. Normally, it's pretty easy just to walk around and, you know, just do whatever. But, since you've been seen, you can't just walk around and do whatever you want, because everybody knows you're here, and they will be coming for you. So, sometimes you have to ask yourself questions. Such as, am I going to walk in this room and mow down everything, or am I going to move on? There are wise times to do either one. Now, this is only a couple enemies in a room, so I'm pretty sure I can walk in here and just start smashing people up with my two-hander. And as you can see, so far, it's working. Now, it's a good idea, not only for your sake, but for... well, actually, it's only for your sake, that you look around a little bit and see if you can break any containers or anything like that and pick up or open lockers and pick up loot because if you're trying to build something in the foundry which is another tutorial in and of itself which I briefly explained when it came to modifications you're going to need the materials that are dropped by A by enemies or B more likely in these different containers. Now some stuff to know is one R is reload I'm sure you've been taught the basics and and I'm pretty sure that they've taught stuff that I've forgotten they've taught you, so excuse me if I end up repeating the Lotus and sound like a broken record. Um, you can rebind some keys, like I'm so used to playing Borderlands that I'm used to hitting V for my melee, so I rebound it from E to V. Now, this only applies on one computer at a time, so for instance, if I were to switch over to my other computer, it would be back to E. Level up. That means more modification space, which would mean without a catalyst, I'd have four mod spots. Holding down shift to run is usually a good idea, but you have to watch your green stamina bar at the top. You can also, this will hurt your pinky finger the first few times you do it, but eventually you'll get used to it, is you, when you're holding your pinky finger down on shift, push it, push your pinky finger down onto control. You'll do a really badass looking slide that allows you to keep moving at a pretty good speed, well, if you get it moving. And it doesn't consume any stamina, it actually helps you regen it. Not only that, but when you're running, you can reload. And if you decide to do a really complicated uber cool front flip, if you're reloading, it stops your reloading process. But if you slide, as I have just shown, you can continue reloading. So you don't have to be interrupted by your own amazingness. Now, as you can see here, I hit X right away to open these storage lockers. Sometimes it's behind cover, so that'll allow you an extra shield regen chance. But it's generally a good idea to check lockers. You'll get supplies, and most importantly, you'll get ammo, which you're going to need. Alright, exposing the reactor core is as simple as exposing it. Now, see these little pegs? Shoot them pegs off, and you will have a busted reactor core. Now, if you're going to shoot pegs, I recommend either having an assault rifle primary or have something here like the Ak Bolto or even a really fast pistol. These things have next to no health, so all it takes, as you can see, is about one shot at most two. And they'll go down. Once you've broken all the parts, That's it. Now get the hell out of here. you get to extraction. One of two things can happen. One is this, all the lights go out. Or two, you'll have a timer and the lights will go out, meaning the ship integrity has been compromised, which it will tell you. That translates to, this ship is going to explode, get out of here before you're taken with it. Doors like this are elevators, all you have to do is call them, and if you have teammates, do everyone a favor and please wait for them before hitting start elevator. It, it just makes everybody happy, and it's a great thing to have because you don't have to worry about getting flanked or worrying about having too many enemies for your own good. Right click is to iron sight. Iron sighting is incredibly helpful for accuracy, 
It also allows you to move a little slower so you can think about what you're doing. Now see idle moments like this. I choose to reload my items, whatever I have, because I'm not going to be attacked. And a full clip is better than a partially empty clip. You're better off... You don't consume extra ammo for reloading. I know in some games you do, but not in Warframe. Now, what you saw me do there was a totally cool Uber Ninja front flip. It's a bit complicated, but you do the same thing you would for the slide, only when you start sliding, hold everything down and hit space. You'll barrel roll into the air. It does not regenerate stamina. Oddly, when your stamina's out, it actually does work like a slide and regenerates it. But I'm pretty sure at some point that will be fixed. I'm sure in the background you can hear the zzzz of the, of the chainsaw. You hear that, you check all directions around you. A bladesman will knock your health down, and it will knock down your shields even faster. Now, even when I was a high level, in a low level area, I took a hit, I took three hits from a bladesman, and my shield was gone. Now, you see, that was Shuriken. It just launches it in the di general direction of where your reticule is. Reticule is the name for the thingy, you can see right there with the dot. And it tightens a little bit when I iron when I iron sight. I generally use, since it saves ammo, I generally just smack around these little poles with my melee weapon. Now, what you saw me grab there, though I can't remember it myself, is useful for crafting things. For instance, if you want to get rid of your Washizaki slash Skana, you can replace it with something called a Cronus, which is a chance drop from a boss. All bosses have a chance to drop some goodies. Um, the boss for this one, Captain Vor, drops the uh, blueprint for the Cronus, which some people love in preference to the Skana. I have never used it, as Skana was never my style, so I never, well, got any use out of it. Stay in one place. You'll see the money fall out, and you'll just be able to collect it all in one go. Now over here, you can see there's a bonus room. If you don't see anything green, don't don't bother. As you can see there, I got 84 ferrite, some shotgun ammo, and some credits. That's why you should always loot those. Now this is the extraction point. If you're in a party of four, three must be there. If you're in a party of three, two must be there. It must be a majority is the point. Unless it's, of course, one v one on one, in which case the first person to get there starts the countdown timer of 60 seconds. Now that you're at extraction point, it doesn't matter. You'll get your mission complete screen, your bonus. The Lotus will tell you you're a good little dog. You'll get your bonuses for completing the place. You'll get to keep all your stuff, and that'll bring you to the loading screen. That's it for playing Warframe on an official mission. Now. As a little bonus, here you see Mission Complete. If you have teammates, you can fill up the other slots. I obviously, well, took everything because I was the only one there. Accuracy, I don't think counts for a lot, but that's an entire mission of Warframe. And Tolstage is where Captain Vor is. Next time, I'm going to, since I'm about that level, I'm actually going to be kind of a fool and challenge him. Maybe you can see me uh, get a Cronus blueprint or something. Well, that's it for an official mission from Eternally Prussian. Remember, open crates, take everything you see, and if you really need to run, don't be afraid to. Just make sure you can. Also, a fun note is you'll see the resources here. Morphix, Ferrite, and a Polymer Bundle. In the Foundry, there's a whole bunch of other stuff you need, like Alloy Plate, you'll find you'll need a lot of. Oricon Cells are rare, other such things, and as you go on, you'll see what you need. That's it from Eternally Prussian.